it's been easily a decade since I've been, seen you in a role this wacky. And I was wondering <laughs> if, there's, if there's anything you had to relearn comically when you're doing a movie like this. Um, no, it's fun. It's fun to kind of be silly and enjoy just playing a really heightened character. So, um, yeah, she's, she's a kind of weird little yeah, nerd. she's wacky. What felt completely different about this to you as apart from Modern Family? Because there are certain similarities, but then you also got to be like pretty sinister too. Which mm, I well, imagine. yeah, there's similarities like the accent. She's Colombian also. Uh, but um, there was a lot of, um, you know, different things also. Uh, she comes from another world completely than Gloria comes in the sense of, you know, the married to a drug lord. But she's also like yeah, kind of a mastermind, yeah. and well, she... you see that through the movie that she's not just this wife of. Like the you drug think she's one thing, and then yeah. she turns out to be something else. So that's else. very different. I was wondering, both of you have done a lot of comedies. Have you ever been excited to show up to shoot something, thinking it'd be really hilarious, and then you couldn't get it right the day of filming? Yeah, I mean, sometimes you read stuff on a paper and it's funny, and then you get there on set and it's not funny at all. So you have to be able to be malleable and go, okay, this isn't working, let's figure something yeah. out. And that's, she's really good at that, I think, because you have to do that every week. Yeah. You know, figure out jokes and stuff and be able to, yeah. willing to change really quickly. And uh, that always helps on a movie set. Do you have any specific examples of times where it's like, God, I can't believe we this is working? We thought it would be really funny if she said these, like, really kind of, um, we had this like runner in there where she talked about the Wall Street Journal and the stock uh, market, yeah. and sometimes it was funny, and then sometimes yeah, it wasn't sometimes. funny at all. So we had to just kind of change it up. Yeah. Was that for a scene you thought? And you know what? There was be... also oh. like a lot of cursing in the movie, and we took it all out. Yeah, we didn't. Which I think is good. We were already offensive enough. That for you men. <laughs> We was too offensive. We're offensive looking. Yeah. <laughs> Has there ever, ever been a scene you thought would be liberating and turn out to be just tiring? Oh, but something? that's always like that's in, yeah. in any project. Sometimes it happens. Maybe there's and a problem I'm always with the lighting. One that's, I was always like, it's only gonna be like two more hours, and you were like, are you kidding me? It's, it's gonna like, be like five hours. And yeah. I was like, no. And she was always right, and I was always wrong. It's like I kind of like always like know when they're gonna be like a problem, but the, you never know on a set. You know, things happen. Uh, but you, so you have to be ready. It's yeah, especially as, like when you're with a easy. dog or yeah. something. It's or like, kids. Uh, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> kids. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a bizarre question. What's the movie you've seen the most times? Me? I've probably seen like Steel Magnolias the most. I think The Lion King because my son Manolo was obsessed with it. Oh, yeah. And so he would I've like rewind it and lot. rewind it and rewind I mean, he would finish it and rewind it and start over. It was a nightmare. My little one watches Cars and then he likes Cars too, but he calls it Rental Cars. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> For the latest from HitBix, visit HitBix.com or download the new HitBix app on your Roku device.